Spanish Armada. Wire torch. Um, I did wire. So you're all. Any other questions? Any? Every song is worth. Calvinism, what do you think? 
Yeah. Out of a seven day drunk. Industrial okay. revolution. All the elements of it. And what's predestination? What is this kind of All the people. Elect is probably the most common name. That all sounds a little like a to be elect. And Calvin doesn't spread that one. So because here you have what about Luther? Roman he gave it up. Yeah. Okay. And what do we know about Charles V? What is most prominent yeah. faith? <laughs> and uh, and uh, basically, the princes could decide their own religion. And he's French. He was actually in the Geneva. I kind of asked him pictures in the kitchen. Then they asked him. All throughout. Okay. Yeah, Lutheran hated him. So, Henry the Eighth. So, so, we'll get to it. So, so that was come up. So, French, French Calvinists would come to the Huguenots, and the Huguenots would occupy these areas. By Louis. A bunch of Huguenots would be. Yeah. So, what are we doing here? Not now. Presbyterians in Scotland. Calvinists in Scotland were on Knox would be the leader of this. And so if you go John Knox, he's not in Edinburgh, places like that. The other one, Church would and in the Netherlands, Calvinism. It's Calvinism and so put the map on. And then Puritans and a group that purified the they would split off the United States they would but still I should add nobody called them Textbook companies out lost and start writing textbooks on American history. They didn't want to talk about I did a school, and I wonder if anyone else here did we have 
you can play. Do you want to do something like that? The legacy of Knights comes from the textbook. Crazy little corks. I can that's the growth of markets. Not quite too capitalism implies separate things like shipping, press. Or to be remember, how would a model have stronger? No coincidence. Plague, plague, at the same time. Exact time. First, a lot. It kind of had to go half. Also, Calvinism would trigger that revolution. The first real giant in this new market economy was the proto power. Sure. The Netherlands is all the buildings that era. And the witch craze. This stuff, there are witches. No. The person almost. With all this idea that why is there sure must be some out that evil. This also Christian. This comes from again. These are also it's like we are getting yes. Those are the triggers. Okay. And this is kind of shocking. In Germany, the twist the name. Out of town, that's the way you hit America. But once then, you have the wait phase, and then you and then last, that is why the is going to be no separation, but it could be no religious test, no state religion. The United States would not be able to use the term. Yes. That's more their. And so, here are some shots of them trying. By the way, how would you find it? Yeah. No one else has them, so would you? That's where uh, no, I wouldn't talk him in. They're not. The actual way to pull them out. I would say probably time, but still. Well, let's reformation. Start not with necessarily uh, idea against the church. This 
was the two thirds taking power out. This enemies These are all the Tudor monarchs. Henry the Seventh of the Roses. But this was, but it was more political than anything else. Yeah, there's Henry. This was the heir to the throne. And Arthur was the, and here's Henry thinking, Henry the son. England is in death. We fought this horrible war. Their enemies all around us. Go to the 16th century. The so we continue in a marriage. He would marry 16. Now, we have not talked about what into Charles of, Charles of his parents do. Uh, exploration. This was a game and also money. We'll get Spain as an hour. So they're 56, and they basically just is Charles and his help. So they were pretty young and how they met, got them together in a room and said, this is the human. And then a week later, they got married. This is a complete marriage. Legal marriage. Now this didn't happen for most people, but for King. So you have 15 and 16 years and they, I mean, who knows? But they weren't even really together when Arthur died of consumption. I don't know what consumption is. What do they call the bin? Today we would say tuberculosis. And what it means is lungs are literally consumed out of your own lung. That's what tuberculosis is. That's what he's saying. This is that. They would put people in basically to stop. Here's the thing. Give that dowry back. And they still wanted Spain as an ally. Because this became a Jerry Arthur died. What do I do? I'm in prison. We'll talk about this later. Oh. And poor Catherine was kind of stuck there. Three died. Yeah. Should I almost forgot? Henry, what we do? That's um. Leviticus says it is a sin. That's why. Ah! Sure, where's my money? That's the plan. Proud of me. And then and Henry the South. And so now we need very capital. 
sister. They got married. They appeared. Catherine was very devoted and saw Mary and Eighteen, and this had says not that that was also the difference between women. Men, it was like that was accepted. Women, yeah, regardless of their marriage, but remember, and then what he would be. Uh, titled Defender of the Pope and the Defense of the Seven Sacraments. And so here is Henry A. He is Defender of the Pope and stopping the sword through the dragon. Who's the dragon? By the way, why did you get this? I'm poor, but they found some money for the Pope. That's it. That's the Archon. So that's Catherine. That's his wife. Yeah, no, sorry. We break six times. Four. I wonder if all women died in childhood. How she survived this? She's going. Three. Oh. Uh, eight, 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 seven. I never have an arrow. I think that's. Oh, we're getting to that. So. Uh, who's curious about this? I mean, all the that we find a male there. By the way, Henry had we injured and never quite the same of just. And begin to. We don't know how much of this was because of this. Well, he gets two stories. It was either joust or jumping over. And. Yeah. The big thing about this is, is that he is going to get a mass. In fact, they're going to build. So, So I'm just trying to say that he started, you know, just like of all like, pleasure. Ministers, you know, you name it. Drinking. Henry, though, was furious. And who's Of course it was hers. And poor. What is he He wants. The annulment that he said was this I must have sinned. And so, saying that by having that, he is sinner that they So, just do it all when they needed it, and now let's go to. He demanded an annulment. What an issue, though. No way, but it's basically saying the marriage never happened. It must be not an error. It did not have to be a man. And so with this, Catherine refused to agree to the divorce or annulment. She refused. She saw other 
continue to hurt. In 1527, remember Rome was sacked? Emperor. He's also the emperor. Charles V just happens to be nephew of something. Clement VII, well, he's now prisoner of Charles V. You get the point here? Catherine. Catherine's you refuses to annul them. Who is furious? Henry goes. In fact, the term ballistic is just being invented. Yeah. And so, what the heck? Archbishop of Canterbury, he's also a cardinal of the Catholic Church, Cardinal Wolseley. was the key advisor to the king. He ordered Wolseley, you go to Rome and you be a demon. Not get the annulment. Henry and what? Wolseley. Take it. Condemn. What I mean by irrational. Next, who's that? Thomas Moore, the guy who wrote Utopia. Chancellor. He tried, but more. More is that if you don't have it, you can't. What's going to happen to more? More will be executed. More is executed. Who's going to live for a while longer? And he was the new. So the most powerful. And Henry is killing everybody. That's all ever. So he just simply out. Without the, the marriage is over. He just broke away. Henry, it's not just about Mary, but everybody focuses on that. There is Cranmer right there. He would eventually write the San and then he would the other new chancellor was talking. There's and what he said was. Is that Henry should start his own church? If you're happy to go up anyway, just do it. Three percent of the land in England. If Henry becomes the new head of the church, it's that all the financial problems they've had for a hundred years. They've gone from the hundred years before. All this death, salt. This is my place in Henry Clay. So Henry Clay was a kind of funny. Something called Homestead. Kind of amazing. I literally just talked about him. He could come on the wrong terms and he had millions of dollars. We're talking about they would be billions. There's a great artist named Hoffman who grew up right in the face of war. His mortal enemy is placed Cromwell. And this is a so he right near the center. It's pretty, pretty disgusting when you look at how much wealth this person has. But we, it's amazing. Look here. Lots of ocean. We've got a lot of places to go. 
right? Somebody can write this down. Here's more. Here's more. Two great things each other for all eternity now. Kind of cool. You go on this. No, I did not. They won't let you take this. So I can get this picture from your Here they are. Glaring it. It's going to lead to the app. Rockwell would write the Church of England. Church of England? United States. Church of England. You'll see. In most parts, and so that's right next to women. And they yeah, all of the uh, all God church actually allow uh, ministers to marry and allow for female. So all the church property taken, and of course he had excommunicated. Now they basically gone to war, not but with the Pope and more importantly, the Empire. So we all mad because once they annul that marriage, what's gonna happen to Catholic? Yeah, they're gonna force none and separate her from her daughter. Which I finished. So that, while this is going on, Henry's had to care of Anne. So the Lynch family is relatively well. Absolutely. Basically, she said, what's the thing you have to do? This kind of increased the death to just not be good. A very powerful family. They were partially behind Cromwell because the chancellor. Family. The Bolin family would soon lose everything, but that was stolen. But as soon as they got the court of the annulment, he immediately married Anne Boleyn. She would become his second wife. Anne Boleyn, though, had no son. Had a daughter. So oh, that is. Panic again. Am I part of some original? Some up, marrying Arthur, Catherine. There's a sin, or maybe no, it can't be me. I'm first. Then did he accuse her of? Adultery. Yeah. And she'd be put in the Tower of London. By the way, who else was having an, many affairs at that time? King Henry VIII. But he could do it. He was a king and a man. Yeah. It, the, the laws were definitely different about adultery for men and women, all well into the 1980s. Which, by the way, 1980s, that's not that long ago. How do we know that's not long ago? Because you were alive. Because I was an adult in the 1980s. But, does that mean you did it? But here's the Tower of London, and that's what it looked like right in the Thames. And back then, the, the used to be the shore of the Thames was right here. And so there was a dock right there where they would bring in the prisoners on the Thames. And if you get a chance, go there. It's really cool. Uh, so the walls are there. It's guarded by these guards called beef eaters. They're actually all sergeants in the British Army, but they're taking on a tour. It's a, it's a cool place. Now, let me warn you, though. Do you, if you like waiting in line, because there's a lot of people who go to the Tower of London. What are they called? Beef eaters. Does that mean they always eat beef? Not quite, but that, it's a medieval name, though. Sorry, that sounds like a cool name. It's a big guard called Beef Eaters. Right here is the tower where she was kept. That is the um, gate. 
There's still water there now, but that's just because it's kind of under the ground, but it's not connected to the Thames anymore. And that's where they would bring prisoners. And in this courtyard, Anne Boleyn would be executed for treason. What's her treason? Committing adultery against the king. Thus, no more Anne Boleyn. Huh? Oh, yeah. I already know this. Yeah, you knew that one. One of my favorite parts of history. Elizabeth would be kept as part of the Henry VIII, but it'd be kind of, I mean, it made it very clear. She, she's not going to be an heir to the throne. He wants a son. There is a painting of the beheading of Anne, or a picture of it. I kind of like that one. There's a lot of really stylistic paintings for the 18th century. I like that picture. And thus, with that divorce, there are the other brides of Henry VIII. And let's jump to the next. Yes. Okay. Just keep track of this. Huh? And that drawing had a glimpse of, yeah, way it was in the spell. Yeah, I know. There, um, but there's no dictionary, there's no set self spell. So, yeah, the vernacular was brand new. So, yeah, good so, good eye that one. Bull in. Which, so, by the way, makes more sense, kind of in a way. Yeah. So, good eye didn't even I'm see that. I'm guessing the, the, the time would change just randomly, depending on the time. Yeah. Up until the early 19th century. If you read the journals of Lewis and Clark, they spelled they spelled mosquito sixteen different ways in the journals. <laughs> so Jane Seymour is the next, and Jane Seymour, another political marriage, and she had a son. Everybody says she got. Him. So who knows what would have came out of that? Because we're talking Henry, which she lived a different way, but she died. Uh, and complications after childhood. After that, oh, that's the family, the new family. And here we have Henry, Jane, Edward, Mary, Elizabeth. But you notice how cleverly they're way off to the side? They're both being educated, but in different ways. Elizabeth is basically being held prisoner with, um, in, the, in the court, and Mary is in an, an abbey. Being a, that's where she's at. The next, Anna Cleves. Anybody know where Cleves is? Ohio. No. It's a principality of Germany. And they wanted, he wanted an alliance with Germany. Lutheran. He's thinking, I need alliances. And so he was told, we have an 18-year-old daughter of the Duke of Cleves, and you can have, she will be your queen. It was arranged marriage. Now he goes, well, he wanted somebody, to his point of view, attractive. So Hoblet, that artist who did Cromwell and more, was sent there and drew this painting. And... Henry was like, wow, she is very attractive. Attractive 18 year olds. He was in his late 50s, about 350. And, well, that's Henry, a contemporary painting. When they met, it was instant repulsion by both of them. Now, Henry's story was she was ugly, in fact, called her the cow of Cleves. Cow of Cleves. Now, that was completely unfair. That probably came after the fact. What really happened is this. Anne had no idea what she was getting into, very young, 18 years old. And she met this guy, this lecherous, huge man, met him, and she gave a look that other people saw of just utter repulsion. Like, I'm going to marry this? And that look so angered and terrified Henry that they got married and then immediately annulled the marriage. But does that really even count as a marriage? Yes, because it, it well, it depends on your point of view. Technically, under the church, no, but they were married. And that's what happened. Now, he's going to try to say she was ugly and he blamed Holbert. Well, actually, it was probably she looked at him like, oh, and he's like, oh my God. People don't look at me like that. He knew. One more thing Cromwell was chancellor, he arranged this marriage. Why did I put a line through Cromwell's name? Yeah, he was executed. He was executed. Yeah, there goes Cromwell. Do you get the point here? Someone's a little bit unstable. Next, 
Catherine Howard. Another noble lady, Catherine Howard. This was she was one of the ladies in waiting. He had an affair with her. He married her, and she did have at least one affair. Now, of course, Henry was too. She was caught, and what happened to her? There's. He did it for both Anne Boleyn, for both of them. They brought in a French swordsman to come in. Because with a sword, that would be a cleaner cut. With an axe, it could be, it could be a couple hacks and lead to a much more horrific death, as opposed to only a horrific death. And then lastly, Catherine Hall. How? Catherine's a very common name, huh? Catherine Parr. And by then, he was old and pretty infirm. And Catherine was, Parr was almost like a nurse. She just kept care of him. She actually would be the one who, in a way, raised Elizabeth. She kind of, and Edward. And she survived Edward. He died while she was. And while this is going on, there's a growing conflict with Spain. Protestantism, Protestantism was growing, and who became king. There's his death, and there's a very young Edward becoming king. And that's where we're quick. Henry the is a good story, isn't it? And I just told you the base highlights of it. I enjoy that one. Yeah. There's a son who's forced to have it die to survive. Say it again. Divorce to have it die. Divorce to have it survive. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that's exactly right. I've heard everyone else a perfect one. Yeah. Is that uh, Henry in the deathbed? Off yeah. The he looked way too sick. <laughs> well, he had been very sick, so he probably did lose a lot of weight. But yeah, that seems way too, way, way, way too thin. Yeah. I mean, the person you draw, you think, hey, most likely, like, drawing from the end Sure, yeah, it does happen a lot. You draw a portrait to make them look better. And as you get back to that whole thing about the half bird, just imagine how big it really looks. Well, that's supposed to represent um, the finality of life. He just was knocked out. Yeah. And then, uh, and by the way, hands are hard to draw. He could palm uh, a globe, couldn't he? <laughs> Two basketballs. <laughs> so, I assigned 13-1 and 13-2, and that is going to be due on Tuesday. Okay. I'll make it do on Tuesday. So I'll give you a little bit of time to read on Tuesday or Monday also. Uh, be ready. There's a, a slight chance I will not be here on Monday. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. If we do uh, bring good shoes, it'll be a uh, run. The track will run. Bring a shovel, too, if you have to shovel off the track. Wait, was Edward's brown? We'll have some work. And so... Uh, I will give you time to read on Monday, so bring your textbook, bring the blue world entry textbook. We're good on that. I'll give you time to read. I know it's online, but it's harder to read online. There might be another one. So wait, was Edward crowned exactly. in the same room that Henry was dying? Or was he crowned in a different room? Okay, I like that. What's that? Uh, was Edward crowned in the same room as Henry was dying, or is that just the uh, painting? Of who? Uh, Edward, wasn't he being crowned? Was he crowned in the same? Yeah, that's a painting. That's okay. just a show, like you know, the the king. It, it's it's the famous saying, "The king is dead, long live the king." Okay. Oh, that's a musical. Uh huh. Was it? Did you see it? Was it good? It's a great story. So I'll give you a chance to oh, yeah. find it so you can read, or and the, the chapter is up.